right, so Baron Zemo just came out, and he has a really nice synergy with Phoenix. And I feel like now the Phoenix team is finally complete because she has... She's always had three really good synergies, and this fourth one kind of just, like, makes the whole team revolve around Phoenix. So I just want to go over it real quick and just talk about, like, why I really like this champion. I'm, like, obsessed with this character right now, and why I think that this team honestly makes her pretty viable. But, however, though it's a Phoenix team, she really only needs two of the synergies. I'm going to go over that real quick. So the main two synergies are the Emma Frost one and the Professor X one. So the Emma Frost one gives her the ability to keep her Furious when she's overloading. Because when she usually overloads, she loses Fury Bus constantly, right? But with Emma Frost, you just keep all 11 of them. So that's really, really strong. Then the Professor X one is... Whenever you overload, you get a 60% Fury passive and it stacks up to 5. So in long fights, it's a really, really major increase in damage. Now the Airwalker one lets you refresh your armor breaks when you inflict them with a heavy attack. And then lastly, the new one, the Baron Zemo one, gives her 100% Fury buff potency, which is a nice damage increase overall. And while I've been talking, she's just been hitting pretty hard. Like, that's 47k heavy attack. She hits really hard on the heavies. Um, she is like a heavy based character, her damage comes from the heavies. So yeah, 110 on Winter Soldier and a 50,000 biggest hit, which was a heavy attack of course. Pretty nice stuff, and it goes even higher, like right here. We have 4 Fury passives here, and we're about to hit our 5th one. So this is like the maximum damage output pretty much, and then we get the 5 armor breaks too. So we're gonna see what it finally looks like to have like the maximum damage output of Phoenix. And that was a 62,000 heavy attack, right? That's pretty impressive, and she can like consistently do this because the Fury passives from Professor X, they stay, they don't go away like at all, right? So her damage is absolutely viable, right? Like there is no question about it. But her utility, however, can she do like really useful things? And honestly, she kind of can. She has a really good access to armor break, like she can refresh them also. So it's like a really constant armor break that you can easily access once you're like overloaded. And consistent armor break is always a very good use. Like, you know, this is the Chitinuous Thorns node. Also pretty good counter to Mysterio. Uh, I kind of just like pressed my luck here in the end, but it's fine. Also, she has really easy access to Incinerate, which lets her do things like take the selective time stream. Additionally, she can take things like Pleasure to Burn. Anything that wants like Incinerate or a lot of debuffs to be honest, because her Incinerates are tiny, but they like proc a ton. So she has like a lot of Incinerates going on. And um, yeah, so I feel like overall, some pretty nice utility there. She has more utility, of course, but um, those two are like the main things that you see the most often. Additionally, she has access to a lot of Fury buffs, so she can take buffed up. But also, the Fury buffs are permanent, right? So that means she can take a Mojo even, because Mojo, she only works. He's only a hard time if your buffs have like duration, but her buffs do not have any duration at all. So that lets her like be able to take Mojo if needed, which is pretty nice. Like this selective time stream Mojo, an amazing counter for right additionally she has access to a lot of fury buffs and that lets her take buffed up pretty easily um anything that like benefits from having a lot of buffs like an incursions buff cornucopia that's really good for her as well anything that has a lot of debuffs like you know like that one node where you get increased attack rating per debuff also really good on her she has a lot of good nodes and incursions i feel like that's probably one of her best uses uh but yeah Overall, it's a really good character, in my opinion at least. I feel like she's quite viable with a full team. The only problem is that you have to have a full team, or at least two synergies minimum, right? But I still love this character. I love her playstyle. She's so much fun to play. Her SP3 is like quite beautiful as well. But last and certainly not least is her Awakened ability, where you can just cheat death. And man, it is quite the big cheat death. Like, look right here. We take the hit, and then we're just back up to full. And you can do this once a fight, which is pretty strong in my opinion just lets you keep going this is really good for like alliance quests general questing incursions the more i think about it the more i realize that she's probably a really busted incursions champ so i might want to make a video on that to be honest but yeah um i think i want to make a full showcase on her as well just because i really really like this character she is a ton of fun to me um she's ranked three right now that might change because i'm having too much fun with this champion so be on the lookout for that maybe and uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on Phoenix. Let me know if you think she's like finally viable with her like all of her synergies combined. In my opinion, she just needs two synergies, but the other ones are really nice to have as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it for me.